I did this one already, but we're gonna do it again. Let's drive. Get down. Sometimes my phone, on which I record, is in time-lapse mode and renders what was an otherwise awesome car cast useless. But maybe that's apropos because we're going to talk a little bit more about humility today. We talked about it before. Let's not get into the details. You can go look at those episodes. But how do I exercise and create a discipline and a habit of humility? I think it's done in four ways. The first is by completely focusing on the task at hand. Now look, one of my biggest uh, struggles is distraction. When I'm zeroed in on a task, things will, will kind of enter that workflow that take me off of the task and they're disguised as ways to improve it. When I say focus on the task at hand, when we're delivering something, and I don't care if you're the CEO, I don't care if you're the operations, the facilities manager guy, or procurement, HR, I don't care where you're on the organization. When we're zeroed in on the task, okay, we, we have somebody that, that's dependent upon it, somebody that it benefits. So let's place their consumption of our efforts centric so that we deliver in a way that we would be thrilled to receive. We nail every detail. We package it up in a way that's easily to consume. We make sure that the work product is going to be immediately applicable and beneficial. So that's the first thing. Focus relentlessly on the task at hand. The second, I think, I don't think I know it. It's a listening exercise. We have to listen keenly to what's being requested of us. Now, a lot of times we are tempted to debate whether or not something is of merit or value. And I see this especially in lar or large organizations where there's a lot of kind of internal politics and jockeying for position and territorial protection. That happens. It happens everywhere, more in large companies than in smaller, but it happens. So we combat that by trying to listen keenly to what is being requested, what is the need of those that we're working with. And we're, and, and and even if we don't agree with the need, even if the agree, let's suppose the, the need or the request is not very valuable. It's our job to unlock where the value rests within that request, okay? If it is a value, then it's our job to deliver very aggressively against it, okay? Placing the consumption of our work product centric again. So listen, what's motivating the request? What's motivating the need that has arisen from this other person within the organization? Third thing you want to do is provide context for what you're delivering, okay? In other words, Whatever the work product is, and it's got a direct benefit, but maybe you've developed it in a way where there's some contextual reality around it that has secondary or even tertiary benefit to other areas of the organization. If that is true, then communicate that context. Hey, here's that thing you developed. Here's the thing I developed for you. Here's why it will help you, I hope, you tell me. But oh, by the way, here's these three other things that are going to benefit from the result of this work product. What do you think? Now you're over delivering you're going above and beyond that which was requested of you in a way that enters you into a collaborative agreement and arrangement with those that you're working with lastly we have to know our strengths we have to really really know them and invest in them and look at our weaknesses not as something to overcome but a way to uh, remove where they inhibit our strengths so you know what they are naturally right and if you don't that's a good place to start this entire exercise but let's invest in the way that those strengths serve those that we serve. And again, I don't care if you're the CEO, if you're the, the chairman of the board, if you are the uh, Marcom director, if you are an inside salesperson, ultimately in every single one of those instances, you serve someone else. So know your strength in serving them and exercise from that position of strength. I hope that helped. I hope it worked. I hope it, uh, I, ho I really hope we're not in time-lapse mode, but most importantly, I hope you join me next time. Ah, see, I have notes. I'm now and again, I have notes. But you wouldn't know that unless you come on over to YouTube and subscribe. I'll see you over there. I think you're going to dig it. Take care.